In this video, I'm going to show you how to generate fake JSON content for all of your programming projects where you would use JSON using AI. I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. So my prompt is going to look like this. I'm just going to ask for some data that represents uh, employees at a company. And I just asked it for dummy data. It's going to give us like years of company, salary, a couple of different things like that. Obviously, anything that you're designing for, you can ask it to include these attributes in the dummy data. So just explain to it a list. Say, hey, I want you to uh, build me JSON with these, you know, with these attributes, and then. You so I'm asking it to revise this to actually give me a little bit more information. I'm asking for a fake department that they work in and a manager. And I asked for the manager to actually be one of the other employees. So you can see right here, we got Bob Johnson. And then Bob Johnson is one of the other employees, but he is the manager of Alice Smith. So we do have an interesting kind of relationship set up here, which is really cool. And uh, it's just enriching our data and just making it a little bit more um, robust, right? So that, you know, whatever use case, like you can just prompt and tell it, hey, can you make it a little bit more like this or a little bit more like that? And it will just give you the JSON like that accordingly. And if you ever run into a situation like this where it didn't print out everything that you wanted, if it kind of stopped, you could say like, hey, could you please print out what you left off? And then usually it won't start from the beginning. It usually just give you what you want, but sometimes it starts back from the beginning. I'll show you an example of that right here. So I asked it to print out the JSON that it left out and said, I'm sorry about the uh, incomplete JSON file. Here's the entire file again. So it is printing it out all the way again, but that's okay. We'll just wait for it. And then we should be able to get uh, what's just at the end, which is what we want. But ultimately, I'm just going to keep the video short and sweet because that is the foundation of how you can generate JSON with ChatGPT. I hope that this has been helpful for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if this uh, helped you out, uh, please drop a um, you know thumbs up, like a, a heart, a like, whatever in the comments, or just uh, throw a like on my video. Uh, I really would appreciate that. It really helps me out here on YouTube. And thank you for watching and have a good one.